In this lesson, we'll be talking about important things to remember when we're doing video interviews. Module 7, Lessons 1 and 2 gave important tips on how to be well prepared for your interview. We can't overemphasize the importance of reviewing your own application materials and ensuring that you've conducted a thorough information search. All this preparation helps you feel centered for the day of the interview. In this lesson, we'll discuss additional considerations when preparing a video interview. Preparation before a video interview will involve your setup, including hardware, software, and the physical space where you'll be during your interview, as well as your self-presentation online. Also, when you confirm your interview, be sure to verify the time for both time zones, if applicable, just to be sure. Similar to any electronic setup, whether for physical or digital presentations, you'll want to test out your computer and software setup at least once. Usually, your contact will let you know the platform to be used for the video conference. Be sure to have the appropriate software such as Google Meets, Zoom, WebEx downloaded several days in advance, and make at least one call to a friend with the same setup that you'll use on the interview day. If possible, it's even better to do this at the same time of day as your actual interview. Be certain that the friend or family member is someone who is supportive and whom you feel relaxed talking with. All of these factors will help you set yourself up for success. Be sure to always have a backup data plan. Typically, an internet plan with 100 megabits per second download and 10 megabits per second upload should present no problems for a video conference. At the same time, if you have a cellular data plan, it's always a good idea to make sure your phone is charged and ready, just in case you need to switch to a personal hotspot. Practice the switch back and forth, so should you need to do this, there would be little interruption time and you will look calm. Make sure to test your sound both with and without a headset with a microphone. Most setups no longer create feedback, but you'll want to make sure you have your headset available, just in case your next door neighbor decides to try out her new leaf blower on the day of your interview. Also, ask your friend to let you know whether the sound comes through more clearly with or without the microphone attached to your headphones. How do you simulate eye contact through a video call, all the while engaged with your hiring committee, especially when you're not in the same physical space? For your setup, this involves two adjustments, the placement of your camera and the placement of the window where you'll see your interviewers on the computer screen. Make sure that the camera facing you is placed on a stable surface at eye level. For laptop users, you may need to place several textbooks on a table beneath your laptop. With the window of the video conferencing application open, you'll want to center the video below your webcam so that when you're looking at the screen, your focus will be close to the camera lens. On the day of the interview, be sure to write down the names of the members of the interview committee so you can easily address various individuals when needed. Your physical environment should be completely free of visual and auditory distractions, both for yourself and for your interviewers. Consider the background of your interview. If it's a wall, make sure that the color contrasts well with the outfit you'll be wearing. This means if your wall is white, you should wear gray, dark blue, black, or brown, and this would set you apart from your background. If you'll use a virtual background, Certain shades of green may actually show up as invisible. If your background is a bookshelf, make sure that no embarrassing titles jump out. If your back is toward a window, choose a different background. Being backlit means you would appear as a shadow on screen. This brings us to the subject of lighting. The best lighting is natural light. So if you do have a window, make sure that you're facing the window directly for natural light. If natural light is not available, such as on a gloomy day, similar neutral lighting can be achieved with two desk lamps with 
lampshades placed on either side of you behind your camera, two to three feet away, or one light behind your camera and a blank page window open on your screen to provide lighting to your face. Avoid lighting directly above your head as that may create a distracting spotlight. You might think that you only need to dress from the waist up for a video interview. You wouldn't dress only from the waist up for a face-to-face -face interview, would you? For every interview, you should look the part from top to bottom, including your shoes. When you feel great, you present your best self. If you're not certain about how formally you should dress, it's always best to err on being overdressed rather than risk being too informal. Avoid busy patterns, colors that may appear too bright or too dark on screen, and jewelry that may seem distracting. Remember, you should dress comfortably and smartly, just like you would at an in-person interview. Keep in mind, your entire ensemble will affect how you feel, but the formality of your outfit is only shown within the view of your webcam. Therefore, certain cuts or layering may present better when only the top fourth or third of your outfit shows. Be sure to check the proportions by how close or far you sit from the camera as well. You don't want to appear too big or too small in the frame. Your friend or colleague can also help you check how your lighting, background, and outfit look through a webcam. We discussed earlier that preparation is the best strategy for feeling centered. On the day of the interview, be sure to prepare your voice. One TIPS participant reminded us that the first time you speak on the interview day should not be at the interview. She hadn't realized this, and at her first interview on the academic job search, her voice came out croaky and awkward initially. Make sure to chat in a relaxed way with a friend before your interview, and do something earlier in the day that makes you feel energetic. Just as Module 7, Lesson 1 reminds us, it's a good idea to check about taking notes during the interview. This is especially important in the video conference, so that interviewers know that that is what you're doing when you look down from the camera. We highly recommend using pen and paper. No one likes hearing the sound of typing in a conversation. We also highly recommend that you print out all your application materials and create a cheat sheet of your notes for the position. Remember to refer to your notes minimally so as not to lose eye contact. And one last thing, don't forget to smile.